What's up guys? It's Jose and I'm here with uh, my mom. Hi guys, I'm Hilda. Say like with a good impression, like better than me. Well, I've never been on TV or on any video, so. I know you guys seen her on YouTube videos, like the one of me dancing, the other one when I got my piercings, but you guys haven't seen her like right now. So we're gonna do a cake, guys. What are we doing, mom? It's a tres leches cake with gelatina con chocolate la abuelita. After this, we're gonna be doing some Q and A's for you guys, so you guys can get to know her better. Uh, I'm not sure about that. No, she's gonna be doing it <laughs> while we're doing this. So there's two steps to this stuff, okay? So we're gonna have to take about two days or so to get this done. This is gonna be done tonight overnight. It's about 8:42. Coronavirus. So we're gonna be done with the cake for about 45 minutes or so, and then tomorrow we're gonna come back and show you the rest of the steps. But Today, we're just going to go ahead and tell you guys how you guys are going to make uh, the bread, basically, the foundation to it. And then, if you come over here, you're going to see a couple different things. This down here, it's going to be for the tres leches. This is what we're going to need. Um, I really don't care about the brands, but I can tell you that the brands do matter. Um, in this case, I prefer this type of branding. Other than that, you guys can choose any of your choices. Like you'll see up here on this other side, I do have other type of evaporated milk, which is okay. But my favorite is still this type of um, Nestle Carnation. Anyways, this is for the tres leches. This is what we're going to mix to add to the cake after the cake is done. This right here is going to be what we're going to need for the jello. You guys can use two of these, although my favorite is still this package. I really like the package. About 11 ounces or so, however, we're only going to use 8 ounces of that. So it's about a cup or so once you put it together. We're also going to use the Gatti or it could be on flavored gelatin. It doesn't matter what brand you use. You can actually use any type of brand that you like. There's four packages in here, by the way. So we already have three here and I kind of left one outside so you guys could see what it looks like. Okay, then we have the evaporated milk, which we're going to use two of these. We're going to use one of La Lechera. You can also use a cup of sugar and that's up to your guys discretion depending on how sweet you guys like it and then right here we have half of water it has to be cold and we're gonna add the unflavored gelatin however that's gonna be kind of like towards the end for now we're just gonna have Jose make the cake okay other than that I'm just gonna be walking him and letting him know what's next okay? I'm so impressed by her because she's not shy not camera shy why aren't you camera shy did you wash your hands so you're going to follow the instructions exactly what the box tells you to. However, instead of using one cup of water, you're going to replace that with one cup of milk. Next first? Yes. I always tell my mom, why don't you start a YouTube channel? Look how good she is at talking, but she doesn't want to start a YouTube channel, but she stays 24 seven looking at YouTube videos, like how to make all this, but she doesn't make it herself. How many eggs did you break though? Three. Three. So and then why, from here, why in the world would you pick up a napkin that you had thrown before? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because it's clean. Next, add the flour. <gasps> now, I want you to pour the milk on it. If you can see the scoop, it already has the one cup on there listed on there for your instructions. Next, you're going to add half a cup of oil. Earlier, I should have given you guys a choice on this one. This is okay. The vanilla flavored, it's okay, but I really like the French vanilla. Um, it gives it a different taste. Uh, it's just a little bit more sweeter, but this one's okay as well, too. I like the Betty Crocker flavored as well. This is a great brand to get. There's many brands out there, but I really like this one. Uh, the cake comes out very nice and fluffy as well, too. You have to grease the pan. You have to make sure you get every corner. And you know, my mom always tells me that she's going to show me how to cook and like make enchiladas, like a lot of stuff. But she's always telling me that if I get a girl that's ever like where one she does. Tell them, tell them what you always tell me. Tell them. Because it's better coming from your words than mine. It's not that girls are well on us, okay? We choose to either do or not do. And I think that there's a lot of girls out there that choose not to be... Stop, Jose, that's too much. It's a girl's choice and it's not that our parents don't teach us or anything. It's, I just think that we just don't want to do things and we don't have to. That's perfectly okay, but somebody's got to do something around the house. Even the girls with uñas can know how to do this. They got no well, pretestos. If you want to have them, you got to learn how to work them. And that's on period. Look at my hand. Look at how greasy it is, all because of you. You told me to get every little corner of it. Yeah, but like seriously, I thought you were smarter than that. Here, I'll help you. You want to kind of do this just to make sure it's all even on all the sizes. 
so after we bake it and then we take it out it's it has to rest you can either leave it out i prefer to put it in the refrigerator overnight so tomorrow morning we can actually um, get up either early in the morning or we can do this later in the afternoon later because i work tomorrow morning. and we'll be able to make the tres leches um again guys this is the stuff that i'm going to use to mix that and i forgot to mention the uh, vanilla so you can use any brand but i really like this type of brand so I just like to put a little scoop of that and this is how we're gonna make the tres leches yeah I wonder where your co-workers at work are gonna say they're like oh you finally came on Jose's videos it's hard to believe but my mom's co-workers watch my videos more than she does she doesn't know about my videos until her co-workers tell her oh Jose uploaded a new video have you watched it she's like what video did he upload now? The oven has to be preheated at 350 degrees. So we had already turned it on before we started the details on it. So now we're going to go ahead and put it in there. And again, we're going to watch it. We're going to answer questions, mom. All right. No, we're going to answer questions. Even Clarissa asked us, but we're going to start with Clarissa because she's all the way at the top. She said, who prefers eating anything spicy, AKA not you? I don't like spicy food. I tell them how much, well, like enchilada well, sauce I Well, they saw the video, so I'm sure that they've noticed that you didn't even pour anything. Yeah, I, I like a little bit. I don't like Le a lot. Le el chile, Jose. ¿Quién era el más travieso from your kids? You. Why? I thought you said Clarissa would always crash. No, Clarissa era una llorona, pero tú eras un infierno. What? So how did your mom know that she wanted to name you Jose? I think it was just because of my dad. Yeah. ¿Qué se siente tener un hijo que es youtuber? Y hermoso, caprichoso. No, they said that. You don't believe me, they said mm, that. Bueno, pues que te compre quien no te conozca. How old are you guys? 18. I'm gonna be 19 in two weeks. I'm 42. I'm a Leo, Jose. <laughs> I'm an Aries. I love being a Leo, by the way. I don't even know what Leo stands for. I'm an Aries. All I know is that we're good. Uh, selfish, self centered. That's how my dad is too, then? Yeah. What did you think about me when I first started YouTube? Well, this is a good one because I quit my job. You shouldn't have. You would uh, probably handle it just perfectly fine. How do you feel about Melody? I really don't know Melody too much. You don't bring her around no, I don't. much. She's not around, but when she is, she's lovely. She's a very nice gal. She's beautiful. She is um, very quiet and... Again, she doesn't really know us, so I can't really say much about Melody. At what age did you have me, they also said. 22, yeah. How was I the niño? Vago, imperativo. Oh, are you strict with me or no? Even if I try to, you don't listen. You're not a good listener. You All right, did you me. ever hit me? I still do. But when she does, like now, it's like, I just fake it. I'm like, ah, ah, stop. And then I just walk out like, all right, she's done. Now you know they hit him with something hard. What part of Mexico are you from? Bueno, nací en la colonia Guadalupe Victoria, pero crecí en un pueblo que se llama Las Chapas. No existe en el mapa. Y desde tenía como ocho años cuando me fui a me llevaron mis papás a de mi nuevo México y allí crecí hasta en el 96 cuando me gradué de high school. I graduated from Demi High. Oh, how did you feel when I went to Vegas? Do you even ask? No, I don't ask. Do you find it disrespectful though that he told you over there? You didn't even say anything. You didn't even tell me. But I did tell you about Florida. I did tell you about California. This was the only time I didn't tell her. All right, so how do you feel about my brand clothes? La ropa no hace las personas. Y ese Josecito es un presumido farsante que se gasta su dinero. But my mom knows me. She knows how I am. Tonterías. Son tonterías. Siempre la vestí de Ross que ni siquiera hacer que boss y no sé qué tonterías. That's what I could afford and that's what I But I never felt bad about it. It's just now I like how I dress. Tell them how I like about dancing. Te pasa, Jose. Tú piensas que todos los demás no sabemos bailar y el único que sabe bailar eres tú. <laughs> she compared me to Sergio el Bailador. Llegó, llegó, Sergio el Bailador. Because I didn't mention on my YouTube video that you told me to it's better to save up a car to buy cash than finance one. Hace unos meses me senté con él a platicar y no como su mamá, sino como la banquera que soy. Y le traté de dar consejos financieros para que él trate de ver las cosas de otra manera, pero lamentablemente las cosas no son así. No le gusta batallar y no tiene paciencia. Y las, las personas que no tienen paciencia, José Luis, lamentablemente eh, terminan escogiendo lo peor. Así que tienes que ser paciente, tienes que aprender a escoger las cosas. No es nomás subirte a un carro y sentirte bien en un carro. Tienes que ver muchas cosas. El carro no te va a durar toda la vida nada más porque va a ser nuevo. Tienes que fijarte que cuánto te va a costar una transmisión, cuánto te va a costar un motor. O sea, son muchas cosas que tienes que ver. No es nada más escoger algo porque está bonito. I love everything about you. The only thing that I really don't like about you is that you can be very selfish 
very self-centered. Le dice, le ayudas a limpiar. I do. Cuando quiere, si quiere, y si quiere algo para empezar. No, but I mostly do. Because my sister left, so I'm the one who no. has to do it. Cuando conociste a la Maudie, ¿te acuerdas? Que no la querías llevar. Es más, estaba descompuesta la troquita. So, querías mi jeep. Me tenías la casa limpiecita para que te prestara el jeep para ir a ver a Melody. Alright guys, so we're finished for today asking your guys' Q&As. We did try to answer most of you guys. What's up guys? So we just made it to part two of today's video. We're gonna start off and do the second portion that we had. Because yesterday all we had to do was just bake the cake. And that's all the time that we had for yesterday. Because we had to put in the refrigerator and all that. So today we're gonna continue with the steps. So, as you can see, Jose has a good hand. The cake actually came out nice and firm. And this is the reason why I like to put it in the fridge overnight. It's it's very good. We actually tasted it last night, didn't we, Miguel? And it was awesome. It was good. All Wait, right. What'd you call so, him? Did you see Miguel? Isn't it Miguel? No. Did I just change your name? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is okay? I should apologize. <laughs> His name is George. <laughs> George. That's right, George. I'm sorry. But you're going to use half of the lechera so it's not too sweet. And just half of it, right? Yep. Just put it down. No, it's going to embarrar todo. I said just put it down. It's okay. But then you, you make, make me messes. clean it. Yes, that's right. It's all going to blend in, so it doesn't matter. And you're going to pour a spoon of it and pour it in there. So I want you to pour in the two evaporated milk. Non-flavor gelatin mm -hmm. from yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and mix it in. And that's half of water, guys. So go ahead and put that in there. So we're gonna let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. And then while our milk gets heated or preheated, then we'll continue adding the chocolate to it. We're gonna go ahead and add the chocolate to it. It's eight ounces, it's about one cup. I didn't wanna make a mess with the lechera. There, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Use it all. Yeah. Use it all. Uh... Las cosas buenas cuestan, mijo. Cuando uses cosas baratas, lo puedes hacer, pero mientras, no. So the non jello should have come up to kind of like a spongy looking. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. In trouble, yeah, when I was a minor, yeah, when I was a minor, I think I got in like in like three accidents in total with cops. And the first person I would call is my sister because I know my mom wouldn't. I would have bailed you up. Yeah, I would love to right there. Though. Yeah, that's how my mom is, guys. She's like straight to me like that. And she would always go out her way like at two in the morning, one in the morning to pick me up to With where With a newborn. No, Anyways, I crashed like in 2016. He's so the reason I was, why like, I have a brand new vehicle that I did not need because I was $2,000 away from paying off my car and I would have been car debt free, Jose. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and pour the non-flavored gelatin into this. And we're just gonna be mixing it up. I'm just picking. Have you guys seen his mirror in his room? I don't. Jose know. likes looking at himself. I don't know why. It's he loves himself too much. In a way, it's good, but man. Because imagine her having a son that didn't care about himself and that like didn't. Ugh. Right. So as you guys can see, the texture has changed. It may not be already because, like I said, it has to cool down. But it's easier for. A portion of it to cool faster. I think that's gonna be more than enough just to cover our bottom part of the cake. So it just cooled off and now it's like frozen. <laughs> it's not frozen. <laughs> oh, what is it? Anyways, it just you just put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or so, just as long as it gets firm, firm enough to be able to hold the bread. What's that for? This is so the milk yeah, would go actually go all the way through. There's nothing higher than three leches, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, cuatro just... leches. Huh? No, he's no, lying. Not. See how nice and moist it is? Fools well, EMR people. Right. So... Well, not EMR, I, think, I don't know what's it called. SSMR? Or yeah, it's like, like you know, when people <laughs> like to watch like yeah. stuff like that. Why do they like that? Or people like to hear like. Like this. Oh, no, that's, that's weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be watching out a video. Okay. So, Do you hear that? Sounds like a, like you're knocking on metal. <laughs> if it was up to me, I would pour the whole thing, but... Um... Well, it looks pretty much, might as well pour the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little warm, you guys. It's not supposed to be hot because it will melt the gelatin that was at the bottom of the tray. Because she also does sell them on Facebook, no? I don't. I, um... I only do this to help other people, so to help charities, this is just something fun for me. I really enjoy doing this. I love doing this stuff, but I don't do it for the money. I do to help other people, like when it comes down to helping someone who has cancer or who needs to raise money for medical bills or anything like that, um, 
I'm in it. So if you guys ever need anything like that, please let me know. I'd love to be a part of that. Oh my gosh, there's a nasty fly around here. Do not let it stop anywhere here. I know, I don't know who let that thing in. Well, I left the door open, so it must have been my fault. Probably came in with Miguel. Oh God, huh? <laughs> As you guys can almost see the edges are almost there. So what we're gonna do is we're kind of gonna seal the milk and we're gonna do it this way. As you can see, it's kind of floating in there, which is perfectly fine. We're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for another 10 minutes or so. We're just gonna be just fine with that. However, I don't like it that way because it'll be a little bit tougher to get it out of the pan. So like I said, I improvised and I went ahead and I made um, jello. So this is the type of jello that I like. Esta gelatina la venden en el super, branch market, food, food city, city, like carnicerias, all the Mexican places basically. So I really like this brand. And on the back, it'll tell you if it's with milk or water. Ours is with water and it says four cups, but I just used three so that it's kind of firmer and better. So. We're just gonna go ahead and put this back in the fridge. We're not gonna blend them both together because it's gonna be a total mess. So we're gonna put this back in the fridge again. So now we just took out this after waiting five minutes out the fridge and it's stale. It's not moving. <laughs> but this wasn't part of the plan at first. It'll just be fine, Jose. We had to improvise because I don't have an eight cups container, so. It's just going to make her cake look prettier and bigger. It's just going to go back in the fridge. This process now, it's going to take three hours. So well, we'll see you guys in three right. hours. Well, and that's it. That's it, Jose. We so should be done after that. After it's ready. Right. What's up, guys? It's day three of doing this. We were supposed to finish last <laughs> night, but she wanted to go sleep after she ate. So she didn't want to close down the video and finish everything. So we're going to do everything right now. We just have all this for the what the kick is right there the tres leches yes yeah, so it's basically the final steps to this and guys it really doesn't take three days okay this really should take at least three hours of your time i do like to bake the bread like i said at night so that we have a nice firm bread in the morning which is kind of firm being in the refrigerator for overnight because it allows the moist and all the, um, the tres leches to soak into the bread. And that's why it's very important that you guys do leave it overnight in the refrigerator. Although I've done it on the same day as well, but um, it does not, doesn't come out as good as it should be just because the milk makes it too moisty and y se desbarata, se deshace. You'll feel it when it comes down. There you go. Oh my gosh, Jose, you did a good job. It, it came out nice, yourself. yeah. All right, guys, look at that. Looks very good. He did a pretty good job. And then our last portion down here at the bottom, you guys can see a little bit of the strawberry. And that's the strawberry jello that we had to improvise with so that we would have a, a bigger image of the um, tres leches cake. I mean, you can do anything. You guys can decorate it however you guys want to. And then this is coconut. Whatever, it's his cake anyway, so he can do whatever he wants with it. All right. Right, so, Alright guys, Bye with guys. that said, so comment much. down below. What's your favorite part of this video? Comment down below. Make sure to like, comment, share, and if you need to the channel, subscribe. We'll be back with more videos later, guys.